Hey guys, it's Joe here. Um, well, I'm going to demonstrate a little something uh, different here today. Um, welcome to the Oasis of Nevada. Uh, when we, you know, basically is when you do finally find a area that you could permanently, like have a permanent camp there type of thing, or where you could just get to and not worry about supplies and everything, but sometimes you're going to want to, uh, you know, spiffy the place up, like uh, make your own uh, you know, utensils and implements basically to make things a little bit easier so you don't always have to hoof it in. So, today, uh, it's a little treat for you guys. I'm going to demonstrate in this old little burn area where somebody camped before uh, how to uh, turn your campfire into a forge and make a basically sort of like a uh, holder uh, for your pot. So, you know, how sometimes it gets a little kind of annoying, put your pot on. The wood starts shifting around, kind of spills out a bit. So it's something like very similar to the uh, squirrel cooker, but let me show you uh, how I'm going to do this. I think you'll be very impressed. Okay, guys, this is what I'm going to call uh, literally a uh, blacksmithing on a shoestring in a very literal and figurative sense here. Um, well, we all know that getting started with blacksmithing can be a rather very expensive hobby. You need to find your blower, your anvil, your tongs, you know, that sort of thing. But I'm just going to show um, what you could use with your campfire and how to turn your campfire into a forge. Uh, what you basically need is, uh, yeah, you go to any area where the people camp and you'll find crap like this. Uh, garbage, a cook bottle, you know, a soda bottle, some type of thing. Um, this is a, I got a contractor grade trash bag. Um, they come in a pack of 50. I got it for about 17 bucks. Um, I'll show you how I can turn this into a pair of bellows. What kit is going to complete without uh, duct tape? Huh? Finally, you have your tweer, which is going to go into the forge. Uh, I was going to remove, like, you know, this part here before starting out, but basically is for to fit your bottle is you want a one inch uh yeah half inch um by 36 it could be shorter or longer whatever you want so that's pretty much it so let's uh, dig out the uh fire pit and get the fire going all right all right i got my military entrenching shovel here so uh, i'm gonna dig out the pit here and then I'll demonstrate how I put the uh, bellows and tweer together. So let's get the pit up. Pit out pretty much, so I'm going to lengthen it so I can put the tweer in it. Using the pick in. Okay, pit's dug out. Whew, it's hot. <laughs> and let's get going. All right. First thing you want to do is uh, cut off the bottom here of your soda bottle. Take your knife. There we go. 
go. Now you have the beginnings of your twir. So, next thing you're going to want to do, and this is a really tricky part because you think you're not cutting off enough when you may be cutting off too much, but you find the end of the bag here, which is sealed up here. You kind of pinch it a bit. Again, take your knife. Cut the end. Don't throw it on the ground here. You now have a hole. You take your bottle. Like so and you gently pull the bottle through without it going all the way through like I just did. But there we go. See? It can work as is. You could take some cordage and where it like kind of hourglasses out here, cinch it right here. You won't get a perfect seal, but it will still work. But Get your duct tape. Hopefully you get enough to go around. Overlapping is good. You want it like half on and half off where the trash bag meets the bottle. And there you have it. A pair of bellows. And it's weird. And believe it or not, this is actually, uh, you know, if you have a hide you could use that and a bone. Have that attached to a rawhide uh, tube, attached to a clay uh, insert into your pit. You have yourself an old fashioned forge, which is what they still sometimes do in some parts of the world. Like I know like in Africa, they use, uh, make a clay forge attached to rawhide uh, twir and using leather bags attached to like sort of looks like uh, wood uh, drum inserts so so now you insert your tweet your tube and this is what I like about the coke bottle or the soda bottle whatever Pepsi bottles work fine too I just found this it was a coke bottle so but anyways you get it in you can screw it in and now it's secure so now let me show you how I'm going to put it into the fire pit. Okay. You clear out your pit a bit more. <laughs> you take your bellows apparatus. Have it in here. Do you want it set? Like so. I like to have it like kind of a quarter way into the pit. And then just cover it up to help when you push on the bag, which I'll demonstrate, it'll keep it from rising up. So, let's get this fire going. Okay, I'm going to get this uh, wood split up here and then start the fire.
What about the Oasis of Nevada? <laughs> Mosquitoes. Okay, got the uh, wood cut up enough. I found some, uh, went around to some of the other campsites that they're around here and found some uh, charcoal burnt wood up. Gathered a bunch of that. That should help with the uh, forge. I also found a, a little rack here to cook some on, something on, whatever. So let's get it going. I'm sure you can hear the uh, wind right now. It's supposed to get kind of windy later on. I'm hoping to get this done before it gets too bad. Woo! There's some of this charcoal on. Here we go. Now we wait. Whew. Of course, this would be a great time to uh, get your pot and uh, purify some water, but I'm good for right now. So let this catch a bit more and then burn down. And I'll introduce you to some uh, other things I've made. Okay, it's burned down quite a bit. Um, I have a piece of rebar here. You can pretty much find that pretty in a lot of dumping areas, so people dump their crap and such. It's like where I found uh, some of my stuff here. Let me show you. Okay. I found, uh, yeah, I got just the viewfinder. Here we go. I found this hammer in a uh, dump pile. Looks like, you know, obviously it broke off right here. I just Popped it out, went to the hardware store, got this for like, you know, a few bucks, put it in there, got myself a nice hammer, it's nice and flat so it's already uh, ready to go for blacksmithing. In addition, 
this is my anvil. It's portable. What I did is I got a, found a, uh, again, in the trash pile, a old uh, sledgehammer head. I just got some, like, anchoring cement in an old paint can. Put it in there. Let it harden up. Got myself an anvil. Simple. I mean, this is probably the simplest way of doing, like, you know, backyard or camp blacksmithing. I mean, you're not going to make, a, like, a Bowie knife out of it, but for small, minor stuff, you can do a lot. So, let me show you how this apparatus works. What I do is I get the uh, bag open like this, cinch it at the top, and just push. That. Let me give you a uh, good view of how hot this thing could get. Let me put some more charcoal in here. Gonna have to probably uh, throw some <coughs> more wood on. Gonna pack it down. Now, watch this. Isn't that awesome? I can actually get this to absolute forging temperature. In fact, at one time, I was challenged to see how hot I could get it. And I actually melted a piece of leaf spring. <laughs> Reminds me of a story of four friends of mine. Four of us, actually. We were, uh... Basically... Doing a little camping trip. I had my portable forge with me. Here we go. Sorry about that. Let me exit. Here we go. Yeah. All right. So, but anyways, back to the story. It is there are four of us, and we were wondering how hot can we get my portable forge going. And we just cranked it way. We are like cleaning on it doing this. And we put a nice big hunk of steel in there. And within 20 minutes, we saw sparks flying up. Took my tongs, picked it up, and it was spitting, sputtering, and dripping. I mean, it was literally dripping just from doing this. So yeah. You can actually, uh, using this, get a campfire going hot enough to forge. So, with that said, let's start doing the forging. Put this in here. I'm going to start with the uh, two. Ah, brain fart. There we go. Rebooting. Anyways, what I'm going to do here is take this part and make the ground spike to drive it into the ground. So. Here we go. kind of horrified maybe some of you that I'm gonna be picking this up with my bare hands to hammer on when it's hot. The thing is about using this length here about three feet is the heat as long as I keep it like yeah regulated the heat won't travel too far up. But there's a uh, lake nearby that I'll use it to cool down if it gets a little bit too hot. Here. 
It's all right. Ugh. That's the trouble with using these plastic bags, is you get sparks flying. They'll burn it. But duct tape comes to the rescue. One of my older bags it was so patched up, it was just almost all duct tape. But that was just fine. It worked. Consolidated into the where the tweer is. Hot fire. Yep, forging temperature. Not quite there. All right, let me give you a good view of the hammering here. Needs to be heated up a bit more, and then it'll be uh, almost done for the corner. <gasps> Weather's changing. The bugs are really getting bad now. 
flies and mosquitoes are really attacking me in mass. I don't know if it's because I'm sweating, but they are calling it for rain possibly tonight and windy conditions, so that could be it. Who knows? One thing I learned about doing this stuff is don't rush. Tell you lose stuff. Where they lick off the bug repellent. They get the sauce. Uh, 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 uh. Getting a little hot there. So what do you think? Nice little ground spike. So now to phase two. Get this in, flattened out, kind of tipped in a kind of a little uh, dip here like so. Whew. So here we go. Hey guys, um, as you saw how I'm like using the, bell the bag as the bellows and getting some really good air with in there. Um, let me uh, show you a proper technique uh, that I learned uh, through trial and error, <laughs> mostly through error. So with that said, uh, let me show you exactly uh, the way I open you know, use the bag to uh, get the air. So let's go. Okay. Go away. Jeez. All right. Here's the way um, it, I properly learned how to, uh, on my own, how to open, use these bags for the bellows is, one is, a lot of people I know when they first do this have a tendency to <laughs> pull the bag up like so. Uh, <laughs> what happens is if you have a real hot fire like I do right now, it's going to suck in. Look, here we go gonna suck in the heat the flame actually too it'll actually go in here and you know, a lot of times you'll get this little whoop you know back you know like kind of a backfire type of thing but <laughs> more often than not uh, I've lost a couple bags this way of doing this not only did it go whoop but uh, this here caught on fire the fire actually came into the bag 
and melted it. And no amount of duct tape was going to fix that mess. So this is the way I do it. So let's get this positioned right again. There we go. So I open it up like so. I use my elbow and I go up like this. Still open. Pinch the top and then push. Like so. And I'm sure you've heard the wind a few times today. What is really nice is when the wind blows, you can turn the bag to the wind and it'll fill it. So just minimal effort on your part. You don't always fill it completely full, but usually it's enough to get it going. There you have it, a little hint right there on how to uh, use the bag. Son of a gun. All right, time to fix this. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, had to uh, add some more wood to the coals here while I fixed the hammer.
there. Drink too fast. There we go. Look at that color. Nice.
time over. <laughs> you know, all the damn mosquitoes decided to collect on the trash bag. Ugh. Go away. Put a little kind of a twist on it. There we go. Now to cool this off. And then thinking about bending it right here, sort of like a 90 degree angle. And then it'll be done. So, whew, almost the last step. It's freaking hot and these bugs are annoying. So, here we go. <sighs> Final part.
and there we have it. One pot holder. Ready to be hit into the ground and just left alone. You could leave that in your permanent campsite and be good to go. So, wow. Now this was a challenge. <laughs> but it just shows that you can forge items from just a campfire. So, I hope uh, you enjoyed it and uh, learned a lot. If you're up to it, hit like. Because I, I would hit it myself. So, And if you haven't already, subscribe. So, thank you for watching and uh, I'll be including more uh, skills later on. Thank you for watching.